Hello and welcome to MBKM Models, please don't forget to like share and subscribe. The Fairy Barracuda was a British carrier-borne torpedo and dive bomber designed by Fairy Aviation. It was the first aircraft of this type operated by the Royal Navy's fleet air arm to be fabricated entirely from metal. The Barracuda was developed as a replacement for the Fairy Albacore biplanes. Development was protracted due to the original power plant intended for the type, the Rolls-Royce X, being cancelled. It was replaced by the less powerful Rolls-Royce Merlin engine. On 7 December 1940, the first ferry prototype conducted its maiden flight. Early testing revealed it to be somewhat underpowered. However, the definitive Barracuda Mark II had a more powerful model of the Merlin engine, while later versions were powered by the larger and even more powerful Rolls-Royce Griffin engine. The type was ordered in bulk to equip the FAA. In addition to Ferry's own production line, Barracudas were also built by Blackburn Aircraft, Bolts and Paul, and Westland Aircraft. The type participated in numerous carrier operations during the conflict, being deployed in the Atlantic Ocean. Mediterranean Sea, and the Pacific Ocean against the Germans, Italians, and Japanese respectively during the latter half of the war. One of the Barracuda's most noteworthy engagements was a large-scale attack upon the German battleship Tirpitz on 3 April 1944. In addition to the FAA, the Barracuda was also used by the Royal Air Force, the Royal Canadian Navy the Dutch Naval Aviation Service and the French Air Force. After its withdrawal from service during the 1950s, no intact examples of the Barracuda were preserved despite its once large numbers, although the Fleet Air Arm Museum has ambitions to assemble a full reproduction. In 1937 the British Air Ministry issued specification S-2437, which sought a monoplane torpedo bomber to satisfy operational requirement or 35. The envisioned aircraft was a three-seater that would possess a high payload capacity and a high maximum speed. Six submissions were received by the Air Ministry, from which the designs of Ferry and Supermarine, Type 322, were selected. A pair of prototypes of each design were ordered. On 7 December 1940, the first ferry prototype conducted its maiden flight. The Supermarine Type 322 did not fly until 1943 and, as the Barracuda was already in production by then, its development did not progress further. The Barracuda was a shoulder-wing cantilever monoplane it had a retractable undercarriage and non-retracting tail wheel. The hydraulically actuated main landing gear struts were of an L shape which are retracted into a recess in the side of the fuselage and the wing, with the wheels within the wing. A flush arrestor hook was fitted directly ahead of the tail wheel. It was operated by a crew of three who were seated in a tandem arrangement under a continuous glazed canopy. The pilot had a sliding canopy while the other two crew members' canopy was hinged. The two rear crew had alternate locations in the fuselage, the navigator's position having bay windows below the wings for downward visibility. The wings were furnished with large fairy Youngman flaps which doubled as dive brakes. Originally fitted with a conventional tail, Flight tests suggested that stability would be improved by mounting the stabilizer higher, similar to a T-tail, an arrangement that was implemented on the second prototype. For carrier stowage the wings folded back horizontally at the roots the small vertical protrusions on the upper wing tips held hooks that attached to the tailplane. Barracuda Mark II carrying an 18-inch, 46 centimeters, Aerial torpedo. The ASV radar YAGI antennae are visible above the wings. The Barracuda had originally been intended to be powered by the Rolls Royce X block, sleeve valve engine, but production of this power plant was problematic and eventually abandoned, which in turn delayed the prototype's trials. Instead, it was decided to adopt the lower power 12 cylinder V type Rolls Royce Merlin Mark 30 engine. 1260 horsepower slash 940 kilowatts, to drive a three-bladed de Havilland propeller and the prototypes eventually flew with this configuration. Experiences gained from the prototypes flight testing, as well as operations with the first production aircraft, designated Barracuda Mark I, 
revealed the aircraft to be underpowered which apparently resulted from the weight of extra equipment that had been added since the initial design phase. Only 23 Barracuda Mark I's were constructed, including five by Westland aircraft. These aircraft were only used for trials and conversion training. Carrier landing the Barracuda was relatively straightforward due to a combination of the powerful flaps, air brakes fitted to the aircraft and good visibility from the cockpit, retracting the air brakes at high speeds whilst simultaneously applying rudder would cause a sudden change in trim, which could throw the aircraft into an inverted dive. Incidents of this occurrence proved fatal on at least five occasions during practice torpedo runs once the problem was identified. Appropriate pilot instructions were issued prior to the aircraft entering carrier service. The first Barracudas entered operational service on 10 January 1943 with 827 Squadron of the Fleet Air Arm under the command of Lieutenant Commander Roy Sidney Baker Faulkner, the former Admiralty Test Pilot at RAF Boscombe Down who were deployed in the North Atlantic. Eventually a total of 24 frontline FAA squadrons were equipped with Barracudas, while intended to principally function as a torpedo bomber, by the time the Barracuda arrived in quantity relatively little Axis aligned shipping remained, so it was instead largely used as a dive bomber. From 1944 onwards, the Barracuda Mark II was accompanied in service by radar equipped, but otherwise similar. Barracuda Mark III's these were typically used to conduct anti-submarine operations. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening and until next time.